gonna need you to not stand in the stairs at all for like like completely out of this race because you got the live stream just so you know <laughs> people are watching at home can you hear us <laughs> yes actually <laughs> okay <laughs> all right uh, i guess that battery doesn't pull me yes <laughs> Bishop Sports continues here with the uh, second half of these, uh, this uh, NEPSAC field hockey Class B quarterfinal between the Brooks Bishops and the BBN Knights. Sam Feely again here with you, just uh, wrapped up at the uh, boys soccer quarterfinal uh, as they defeated uh, Kingswood Oxford 3-0. Brooks leading 1-0 and looking for more and they're going to draw a corner right off the bat to start the second half. Speaking of scoring right off the bat, that is how the Bishops got their first goal, uh, got, got the only goal, and that was early in the uh, early in the second quarter. Shot is deflected, and it will go to BB and N. <laughs> Beauty and White, Brooks and Green, Courtney Webb, the senior out of Marblehead, with the lone goal thus far. Yeah. 
Mary Murray in the corner here for the Knights, and it'll be Brooks Ball. One second, folks. Cameron Shumsky has been ordered to volunteer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cameron. Uh, as we are in the third quarter, 1-0 our score. Brooks on top. Uh, sounds like Govs is going to be the opponent uh, of the winner of this game. They were winning uh, in their last uh, uh, earlier. Uh, Brooks girls soccer apparently up 3-1 with about 20 minutes to go in their match, too, in their tournament game. So a lot of, a lot of good uh, results thus far for Brooks in the postseason. Remember, they have the football bowl game on Saturday. We'll have that for you here from Trusty Field on Saturday afternoon. Brooks the four seed, BB Den the five seed, and that will result in a turnover to BB Den. And again, uh, I did mention throughout the uh, soccer broadcast and on the social media post, we would be joining this game in progress. Uh, had some stoppage time and such. Uh, with the uh, boys soccer game before this. Uh, but here we are, second half, one nothing our score, Brooks ahead. It was uh, it was Courtney with the goal, right? Yep, Courtney Webb, uh, what, like 15 seconds basically or something like that into the second quarter. Uh, and that is the difference right now as we play to see who will face Govs on Saturday. Brooks looking to make it 2-0. Oh, might have been some contact there going upfield. Uh, referee does have their arm on. It's going to be a corner. So, uh, would you like me to lower this for you? Would that help? Okay, <laughs> could you hold these, please? I, I do not want to go chasing after uh, any more paper than I have to. All right, that good? Uh, excellent. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna, uh, so I'm gonna set up for a penalty corner, for, but uh, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna restart play at about 20 yards away from goal. Swing and a miss on the clear, but this will be a penalty corner for the Bishops. <laughs> Cecilia Wilson in goal for BBN, by the way. Settled down, extra pass up top, and the Knights able to clear again. And we'll see if Elsa Barkley can 
Provide a counterattack, but it's turned right back over to the Bishops. A lot of traffic there in that passing lane, but the um, pursuit along the goal line and a whistle. I know we don't have a clock cam going, but uh, you know, just to keep things as simple as possible with the you know switching switching fields between games and you know the games kind of overlapping. With this game started at 3:30, if it started maybe at you know basically at four, we would at least have some of the first quarter. But you know, I don't have control of that. I'm just here to bring it straight to you as we proceed to give you what you need. Familiar ISL rivals. Class B quarterfinals. Brooks leading 1 0. You know, looks like my mouse battery died, uh, but it uh, didn't owe me anything, so. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh boy, what do we got? What do we got? Oh no. Did my phone just die? Oh no. Oh no. All right, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, God, why? Why do you do this to me? Fate.
It was oh Mary, Mary Adams. Just scored a stroke. Yeah. Hi everybody, uh, for those of you watching live, I apologize for the uh, dropped connection. Uh, my phone died uh, shortly uh, before Brooks just scored their second goal. Penalty stroke by uh, Mary Adams, a sophomore from Andover, Mass, to make it 2-0 Brooks with 4.50 to go in the uh, third quarter. And um, uh, is Elsa uh, is Elsa on a card? Okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't catch that. I, th I thought it would have been on... Uh, would have been for BB and N, but uh, uh, Elsa Wood. Uh, it is a it is a uh, player up situation for BB and N. Elsa uh, Wood's been sent off for, uh, uh, and it's r less than four minutes left on that booking. But uh, for the, but uh, I, I understand we did miss the goal, but we did record it. Shockingly enough, we did record. It. And don't worry, you don't have to push record on that camera. Uh, camera. In fact, if you pushed record on that, nothing would pick up just because of. That's how capture cards work. But uh, two nothing. Uh, again, we've got we've been here since, since the start of the second half, and uh, Brooks looking to make it three nil. It trickles close to BB and N goalie. This is Elia Wilson, but goes back to the Knights. <laughs> it's going back and forth been a great day to be a Bishops fan. Uh, it, it, so this, get, so the full second half recording is going to be uh, uploaded after the game. So we're going to, so once this game is over, we're going to delete this live stream, then we'll re-upload the recording of the second half. Again, we only got the second half uh, because of the overlap between this game and the end of the uh, uh, boys soccer quarterfinal between Brooks and KO, which Brooks won 3 0. And uh, at last check, uh, they're awaiting the winner of Rivers and K Kimball Union. That game was scoreless at the end of, re towards the end of regulation, anyways. BBN looking to get on the scoreboard, and uh, it's going to be Brooks' ball. Four seed Brooks, the five seed BBN. Winner to face Govs Saturday. I'm going to be honest with you, folks. The reason uh, I I didn't I wasn't charging the battery uh, uh, during uh, the boys soccer game uh, on my phone, which has my hotspot. As BB Dunn setting up their offense, the cross out of reach. Uh, a few years ago, I tried to have my hotspot plugged in while it was cold during a uh, during a tournament game between uh, Hotchkiss and Nobles, and basically everything was you know seized up by the cold weather, and that's why I didn't want to plug in the phone. But uh, obviously, I got burned for that. If you saw, if you were watching the game before this, uh, the boys' soccer game, you know, the howling wind and rain. Not ideal, but it did settle down. And it's cold, it's cloudy, you know, but only a little bit of a breeze and should be good to go for the rest of this game as this comes in towards goal. And again, it'll be, be uh, Brooks' ball. Great day, like I said, for Brooks' tournament action. All-around girls' soccer up 3-1. Uh, at the last check in their match. Uh, they're on the road, too. Uh, boys soccer wins. Field hockey up 2-0 with a quarter and one minute left in regulation. And, of course, the Dave Karate Bowl Saturday will be here on LSP. One o'clock kickoff. Brooks hosting... ISL rival St. Sebastian's. A lot of ISL rivalries renewed in come tournament time, but uh, 
like this one, Brooks and Beebe and Ann, obviously Kingswood Oxford, not an ISL rivalry. Let's see. Winner of this will play another ISL foe in Govs next in the semifinals. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Goal early in the first in the second quarter was the opening tally for Brooks. And that was uh, that was Courtney Webb and then Mary Adams on a stroke. Here in the third quarter, we go to the fourth. Brooks on top, BB Nan, where are you going? <laughs> You know we got a full court. court full, uh, I mean, you can go down there for the pep talk and everything. We just, just, just come back quick, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. Where are you going, though, viewers at home? All right. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a crazy day, but I want to thank uh, want to thank uh, everyone at Brooks for bringing us in. Uh, this is the first time uh, LSP has worked a game of any capacity, in any capacity at Brooks, and uh, thanks to. Uh, Mr. Burdos for uh, hunting me down at the uh, Lawrence Academy for his Brooks Boys Soccer game earlier this year and put in a long good word and uh, hopefully we'll have more Brooks games for you over the course of the school year. Uh, right now, again, I'm just uh, in our intermission between uh, third and fourth quarters. 2 nothing our score. BBN uh, trailing Brooks. Bishop's the four seed. Knights the five seed. And Brooks... Looking for uh, looking for Dayton uh, at the semifinals on Saturday. Cam's doing a good job. She's just down there for the uh, for the uh, 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 for, for the little, for the little meeting. You know, <laughs> did you have a brain fart or something, or or or, or did so, or did someone flake out again? Rivers won. Rivers won. Gotcha. Or, 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 I was getting, Rivers won the game against KUA. Yeah, I was gonna. I was a little, a little confused for a second, but. Uh, Oh God! So uh, uh, was it in extra time? Was it in regulation? PKs? PKs? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> All right. So Brooks will be at Rivers on Saturday in the uh, boys soccer semifinals as Rivers defeats K Kimball Union on PKs. Oh man. Uh, the uh, like the goalie had the save and just completely whiffed on it or. Uh, uh, so they they went to the five PKs and then just went down the roster and the goalie. Isn't that always the? You see that you know that would make NHL shootouts so much better if the goalies had to score on each other. Because like I because somehow I feel like I feel like hockey goalie goals are actually more frequent than soccer goalie goals. But obviously, you know when you're w w when you play goalie in hockey, you got all that equipment on and like not. <laughs> <laughs> not not ideal to try and you know dangle your way onto Sports Center Top Ten or anything. Th thanks so much, Taiwan. Thank you so much. All right. Oh man. <sighs> so here we go. Fourth quarter. Brooks leading two 0 Winner gets Govs Saturday. Uh, w uh, we assume uh, Govs is leading. Uh, they're in a one seed. I, I mean, they got to be pretty good to upend, uh, upend uh, the one seed and really any bracket when you're the eight. And uh, I, I did see that firsthand, uh, what, two and a half years ago. Um, uh, the Nepsack Boys Hockey Elite Eight, LA, was like had like one loss all year. Uh, number one team in New England, uh, hosting number eight Berkshire. And obviously Berkshire was a good team, but... Uh, Berkshire won that game 3-2 in overtime. Uh, by my count, Briggs Gamble had all the offense for the Bears, and they knocked off the number one Spartans. So this is a 4-5 matchup, and uh, that's one of those matchups where you know you don't know what to expect, certainly. <laughs> you imagine they're the you imagine they're, those are the most tightly contested uh, matchups of in, in the in these brackets and at least as far as the NCAA tournament, the NCAA basketball tournaments are concerned, uh, that is pretty accurate. At least in the round of uh, 64 when you have the, the you know, the 8-9 matchups and everything. But the the NCAA tournament is a loser machine, as John Boy so eloquently put it. We continue with uh, one minute gone by here in the 
fourth quarter. BBN trying to get on the scoreboard. They're going to draw a penalty corner, though, here. Good opportunity. The penalty, t the, uh, penalty time, by the way, on, uh, on Brooks' Elsa Wood is over. So here we go. On the left side. Oh, you want to pan over just a little to the left. Here we go. Swept out to the top. Extra pass. <laughs> a third pass, but it bounced off of Ella, Emily Haynes' stick and slows down the offense. But and we'll get another set, set piece here. Keegan Kilpatrick working in the rain in the middle. And a kick saved. Oh, the splits. Can she keep it out? Oh. Well. Everyone loves offense. I'm sorry we didn't get the goals on uh, on the live stream, but but uh, wow, Morgan Morgan Rochefort. Is that how I pronounce it? Rochefort. Well, close enough. Does the splits? Keeps the clean sheet intact, and it'll be Brooks Ball again. See, that's the thing with the, when you when you have soccer overlapping with field hockey. Field hockey moves the fastest of any of these sports. Like you have 15 minute quarters, but like and yeah, but running time you basically only stop for goals. It'll be pushed over the end line and it'll go back to Brooks. So that's why we can only get it on in time for the second half. <sighs> Well, we appreciate everybody's patience as we work to, you know, weather the storm literally at the beginning of the boys' soccer game, and then the and then my self-inflicted L with the hot spot just now. Right in front, Ken Brooks clear, looking for a lane. Only get it out 30 yards away from goal. Brought quickly back up field, mishandled. Come on, backhanded shot ricochets off a couple bodies in front. It's going to be another corner for the Knights. Skyler Hartshorn kind of looked like she wanted to keep playing. She wanted to play on, but picks up the ball, and here we go. Another corner for the Knights as they try to get on the scoreboard. Down two here as we approach 11 minutes to go. Out to the top. Here's delay the shot. Tip, it's in. No, it's waved off. Hayne had the goal, but it was waved off. A break there for the Bishops. Oh, oh, oh I, thought, I thought they were, sorry, I thought they were saying it up at the 30 or whatever, but here we go. Brooks looking at a counter tap. Oh, wide left. Oh, what a backbreaker would have, that would have been, a two goal swing. With that one waved off on on the on the other end for BBN, if Brooks could have scored there, hard hole to dig out of for the Knights if fall behind three 0 in that scenario. But we continue on, still two nothing, still a good spot here for the Bishops. We approach ten minutes to go in the fourth. Back to the Knights, and we got a. Uh, we're going to have a whistle, but uh, set it up. That's 25 turned over to the Bishops. Out the middle. Shot from distance, intercepted before it gets to Wilson. And all the way out to the far side, here come the Knights again. On the counterattack, a little too strong. A ghosty back to get it, but has some company. Into the corner, near the pylon, and we've got a free clear here. And we'll <laughs> see the official telling the Knights players to back up a little bit, give her some space, give her five yards, etc. cetera. The ghosty will try to thread the, try to tread, thread the needle up <laughs> well into the middle of the field. So it goes up the far side. Here again is Hain up the middle. Here come the Knights. 
Shot from distance, really some desperation being shown, I think, by the Knights offense, trying to maybe catch the Brooks defense and Morgan Rock Rockford off guard. Try to surprise him. And I'll get a set piece here. Along the goal line, only green jerseys <laughs> swatted immediately over the sideline on the near side. Hartshorn lining it up. Eight minutes to go. Oh, a little too strong for Murray. And it goes over the end line to Brooks. Again, we uh, we did rec we have recorded the entire second half, even though we had we our issues with the stream, and we will upload that recording uh, later tonight. Nice little move there, and we're gonna have another penalty corner as Hannah Weyerhauser. Was it, this is corner number three of the quarter, just the quarter for the Knights, I think, right? It's three or four. It's Scratch and Quan trying to stay in this one. And as we approach seven minutes to go, Knights trying to get on the scoreboard, keep their season alive. From about 15 blocked. Another corner. Rockford, I think, got her pad in the way there. Or was that uh, one, one of her field players? All right. Take on the far side again. Been looking to set it up with Hain to start. Instead, they go over to the right side. Now at the top, the shot blocked. Noise unable to make some. Here we go again. <laughs> All right. Under six and a half to go. Knights. Credit certainly to the Brooks defense, getting in the way of these shots. Rockford hasn't had to sweat too much, even with these corners. On the backhand, tipped off the side of the net. Six minutes to go, Brooks on the cusp of a semifinal berth. Knocked down. Noise intercepted 10 yards in front of goal, but then back out to the first goal scorer, Webb, but she turns it over. Over the left side, swept into the middle. Green jerseys clamping down all over. I believe that was Weyerhaeuser. Now go over the sideline. Five and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Bring it up is Hartshorn. Pushed, not a whole lot of oomph on it there for the Bishops to get it out. Hartshorn. Quick restart for the Knights. Swatted away. This tends to happen a lot in close games with a lot on the line, doesn't it? You know, the team that's trailing in the fourth quarter somehow finds their second win, starts bombarding the defense with shots, gets a bunch of corners, but nothing through yet for the Knights. What's it gonna take? We've had that big one, that one big highlight reel saved by Rockfort, but can they get it here? No, the defense again stands its ground. All the way out to midfield too. Well, they're gonna start the ball down here. I thought you, just, you spring you spring the ball that downfield, uh, that far downfield, you're cherry picking basically. And this is gonna go to BBNN as we approach four minutes to go. Do they have a fast break here? Take it away. Quick restart. It is in fact Brooks ball. No foul. Backhanded. A lot of contact there. Wood trying to wriggle free and it'll remain with
with Brooks. 3.45 to go. On the left side, Brooks had an opportunity to put it away earlier. Can they get number three here? Here's the shot kick save. And the Knights, no, nope, not able to clear for very long. It's going to be a quarter. Grain Rolf. That was Rolf, right? Or Rolf or Adams with, who drew that one? All right, it was Adams. Excuse me, Adams. Raised her arm. She, she could tell she drew it and got the call. And again, when we had that transition opportunity that didn't end up being the nail in the coffin, will this penalty corner the first of the quarter be for the Bishops? On the left side, oh, a little too strong. It's in! Thought the pass over the left side was a little too strong. It's going to go over the end line. <laughs> but the Bishops, 3 0 with 2.50 to go. And they are going to go to the semifinals almost assuredly. Turned over. I mean, the only thing better than a home playoff win is a home playoff clean sheet. Driscoll goes over the left side. We approach two minutes to go. Adams drawing that critical penalty corner that turned into what should be the exclamation point. But how about another exclamation point? Now it's pushed out. Outside the arc, they try to swat it back towards the goal. Whistle. Uh, 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 Brooks player's been sent off. This is our second booking. That's our third, that's a third booking? Wow. So, uh, yeah, it'll be Kylie Correa. Gonna have a seat, uh, two minutes on the on the booking, but not really gonna matter at this point, I don't think. Give the senior, uh, excuse me, the uh, junior from Georgetown, Mass, not too far from here, a rest and uh, get ready for the semis on Saturday. There will be four. Uh, Brooks will go. Brooks is going to have four of their four playoff teams playing on Saturday. We already knew football was going to play on Saturday in their bowl game. Boys soccer, they'll be at Rivers. Girls soccer, as far as we know, is also going to the semis. Will that be against Lawrence Academy? That'll be interesting. LA had to play their uh, semifinal today uh, at uh, FC Stars Complex in Lancaster because of the weather wide left of goal is BB Dunn making a last ditch effort to get on the scoreboard in the final game of the season. And field hockey gonna play their semi Saturday too. Just eat the ball. Is that even legal? Are you gonna allow to just like, like whack it 50 yards downfield if you can, just to burn some clock? I mean, credit to the Bishops for playing lockdown defense even with the game in hand. They make it 4-0. Uh, a little too much aggression by Michaela Littlewood. Is she gonna be so, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I've I've seen more I've seen more bookings in this half than I have had in all the field hockey games I've covered in my career before this combined. This uh, I I do not see this very often. I promise you. And I'm sure it's not going to matter that much. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, Cameron Shumsky. 
Cam and Sam, <laughs> the team of Cam and Sam doing a great job doing camera work for us on this double header. So as you can see, Brooks three, BB Den nil. They will go to the semifinals, the Napsack Class B field hockey tournament on Saturday. Gods is the likely opponent. So uh, with that said, this has been a presentation of local sports production serving greater Boston student athletes and beyond since 2011. Copyright 2022, unauthorized redistribution of any portion of this broadcast without express information of LSP or the NEPSAC is strictly prohibited. A reminder that you can follow and support LSP on the web, localsportsproductions.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, PayPal, Creator Spring, Ko-Fi, LSP37, and subscribe to the LSP YouTube channel. And uh, our next game, our next broadcast is going to be tomorrow night. Uh, it will be uh, NJCAA Men's Basketball Action Mass Bay hosting CCRI. Starts at 6.55 p.m. tomorrow night. And uh, once again, the final score from the Brooks School North End over Mass. It is the Brooks Bishops 3 and the BB Knights nil. BB at N Knights nil. Uh, my name is Sam Feeler reminding you freelance isn't free. Thanks for tuning in and thanks again for your patience.